What is up, guys? So today we're going to be talking about a Latin rhythm called the cumbia. But first, let's get the question of the lesson. I want to find out what's your favorite style or groove to play. Put it in the comment section below, and let's have a discussion about it. So we're going to talk about the cumbia, which is a, a rhythm uh, out of Colombia. It's real part, uh, popular in South America. And, uh, and in Latin America. And what this is, is it's, it's, this is not a history lesson on the cumbia, by the way. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you the long history. It's a, it's a Colombian rhythm. It originated in the coastal regions there. That's all we need to know for now. Let's move on to the lesson. So what the weird thing about the cumbia is where the kick drum pattern is placed. I was actually in an all uh, Latin band, and, and so it was it was all types of, you know, we had music from Spain, we had music from Latin America, we had music from Colombia, we had music from Puerto Rico, we had all of this different music, and I had to learn all of these different rhythms. And so they'd give me a video and be like, hey man, learn this rhythm, and you know, and so I'd go, and I'd have to watch this video in Spanish, and I'm like, I don't know what he's doing, man. <laughs> so I'd come back and I'd have the rhythm learned, but it would be, completely turned around they'd start laughing and say no 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 one is here and i go oh okay well i get it now so this is kind of taking our american thinking or western style of thinking with drumming and it's kind of turning it on its head so instead of having the kick drum on like one and three so one and three and it's on the two and and the four and so one and two and three and four and. This song style is really played usually uh, at moderately slow or to a moderate, at a moderate uh, medium dance tempo. So it's not a real fast rhythm, but it's cool because of the where he puts, it's almost reggae-ish in reminding you, please don't crucify me for that. It's almost reggae-ish though in where they place the bass drum because the emphasis is placed on two in the and of two, four in the and of four. All right, so if we're playing then it's one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four. Four and one and two and three and four and that's where your kick drum's going. Now this is a modified boom chick beat too. A boom chick would be this. So a cut uh, cut time country feel, uh, train beat, that, that type of thing. It's going to have the upbeats are going to be accented. The cool thing about it is they accent one, the upbeat of one, they accent it on the snare. Upbeat of three, they accent it on the snare. The upbeat of two and four is accented on the tom. Okay, so again, it gives this Latin flavor, but it's a very dance. Okay, it's kind of a driving dancing type feel. On the on the uh, hi hat, what we're gonna I'm gonna give you two different variations to play today. On the hi hat, uh, we're gonna play an eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. And uh, if you've been playing drums any length of time, that's one of the three or four common. I talk about it all the time in the live lessons. It's one of the three or four common subdivisions you're going to need to know to be able to play grooves. You know, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, that rhythm, that rhythm inverted. Those are four very common rhythms that you're going to. We talked about it just this morning in the live lessons. So let's take that and let's put all of this together. Let's get this hi hat going. Then I'm going to add the snare and the tom, and then I'm actually let's add the bass drum first. Hi-hat, bass drum, then snare and tom until you kind of get the full groove. I'm going to do it slower, and then I'll speed it up some. Now, part of my part of what I like to do with this channel is I like to give you rhythm. So I can't go real in depth on this channel. I can't go super in depth on these grooves. You get some of you guys are like, can we have shimas? Can we have that? That's what the live lessons are for. There's a free seven day trial. You can definitely go try those out. And there we get super deep into topics. But on here, I kind of have to skim the top of these topics and kind of just teach you the basics. 
like a working drummer would want to know. If this would have been around whenever I was coming up and I could have just logged on to YouTube and been like cumbia or merengue or whatever and had a groove like groove number one, that's my samba. Groove number two, that's my merengue. That's funk. That's it, you know, and I put all these in my bag. So I'm trying to give you a cumbia groove or two to put in your bag in case for the off chance that you're on a gig and they say, hey, let's play a cumbia. You can go, yeah, I actually do know that. Or you can be in this Latin style song and go, hey, it'd be cool to take it to this kind of feel, you know? Uh, now, let's take this. We're going to take and we're going to do quarter notes on the bell here and then we're going to open or flange the hi-hat and, and that happens whenever you actually take your foot and bring it down with the with the I bring my uh, toe down first and then hit it with my heel and it makes this noise okay and you can get an open sound there so down beats here up beats here everything else stays the same real slow That's two grooves. Let's take them and put them together, okay? Let's play four bars here on the hi-hat of the first groove and then four bars of the second groove and back to it, vice versa. So there in about five minutes, we've got a quick overview of the cumbia, which is a very popular uh, Colombian rhythm. Uh, we don't have a history on it. We don't have all the different things you can do with it. We don't have all the different grooves, but that is a groove that you can take out and use immediately on a gig. If you want to go deeper into some of these topics, you should definitely check out the live lessons because we go deep, deep, deep in these things. Okay, We don't just pick these grooves apart. We pick them out. We make exercises to work on these things. It really is a very interactive lesson. We just had uh, our first person from Turkey, actually, uh, Imra, welcome man. Uh, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. First person from Turkey signed up, so I think it's great that I can communicate with somebody in Germany and Turkey and Australia and a couple from the United States, somebody from Canada, like all at the same time, we can all tune into the same lesson. So please jump in on the seven day free trial. If not, I will be here and I'll be posting regular lessons. See you soon.